Hello everybody, welcome back to the guild 3. It is autumn now 1402 and in that case it is special because now we finally can sell the first cattle. So Valken was working relentlessly through the night here to craft us or well to breed, breed us some cattle star and it's time for payout. Let's get the cattle star in the inventory. Valken is actually a pretty strong guy. He can carry nine cattle on his back. Pretty impressive I'd say so that's dedication and he can even run with nine cattle on his back and that's exactly what he's doing right now selling that while Lynette here is well yeah growing us some wheat there because we need the wheat there again for the cattle we could also purchase the wheat here on the market that would then of course also reduce our income a bit but at the same time, we could sell cattle more often. Let's sell nine cattle. And as we can see, those nine cattle, 468 already. That's quite a nice price that we have on that. Coming out of nothing, basically from one night of work there. Let's get Valken back to the croft. Of because of course, Valken has to help there with growing the weed. So um, it's still a bit simple the whole thing we only need to do that now for i think another full day or something like that because well we need to get a bit more money up there so we have the yeoman we do have for the next title let's have a look there for the next title i think it would be the butcher then for the beef or the sheep oh yeah we do actually need to go with butcher because butcher will then unlock the hospitality to the butchers the next thing that cost us two thousand and the resident title so we do need to get for yeoman first but as we can see, we already have another additional limit there, business limit. So we probably will want to, hmm, I think, build a second a, th a second craft because I don't think we can do anything else, right? We have the craft here. Building a second one will then speed up our income, of course. There we have the wheat. Lynette is going with the wheat and Valken is then going right with the cattle, right? So he's working on that now. She's working on the wheat and both of them are producing now as much cattle as possible um, in that case to have enough money then for a second business with the second business we would then of course increase and speed up our income and that's what we want to achieve here the problem here is I think for Brixton is that we have three crofts now active so two other dynasties here actually took the farmer how is it looking over here in Maidstone one croft two crofts yeah only two crofts so it's of oh no there's a third one up there in this area there and he actually got some fields there is it possible for me to have fields too let's select all there we can see everything also those things that have been unlocked at this point we have the craft but that's really the only thing right residences here we can then purchase um higher residences right now i think we only have a little shack or something like that in that Someone case here higher houses than with more titles and of course with money and we can then get higher houses there um to live in and to have our family in there and of course the higher my house also in a higher probability that someone will say yes to my proposition my proposal that is and while Lenan and Valkin are now working on the cattle to produce as much cattle as possible we can actually have a look at the other functionalities that we have in store here so first of all there's the book of dynasties I've already showed that that's a relationship with the other dynasties then we have the book of guilds so name wise um, name for the game we can join a guild then and those guilds offer us certain bon bonuses then um, except, uh, for the character attributes here but also quests and stuff like that right they have we have five guilds right now the guild of the freemasons here um, the guild of the merchants of the thieves of the free knights so we can join one of them but they have to invite us we cannot uh, well kind of like join them just like that we have to be rich enough to get an invitation now we have the quest book so here we get quest at the moment we only have our main quest which is the um, become the office of sovereign and we have a trade opportunity here right now a long distance the trade um, but for that we do need the trade hall and that is something we cannot allow, uh, afford yet and then we would have the city records this is one of the more interesting things because here we have the political offices of this town so there's the sovereign that is our goal and sovereign only the mayor can then apply for this one here right in that case um we need to start down here so we have the three chambers here as they're called so the town henchmen then here we have the council informers and here we have the council assistants and they can then 
take this rank or this position here if they get elected for it. Um, and then we can take, take, take this office here, for example, the town clerk. And this one here, for example, would have then the possibility of um, having certain tasks, getting additional quests, also an income here that we have with that. And we go up to mayor then. The mayor, for example, he can do then more already. So he's the leader of the city. And quite a nice income there for him and stuff like that. So that's the goal here, the political office. But well, for that, first of all, we do need to get to the citizen title. Now, as we can see, a snowstorm is raging in the town. I hope this is not affecting my production. Production is affected anyway because we don't have water. So she's now going with the water and Valken can sell the cattle that we have there. Right, we got 19 cattle. Let's get that to the market over there. We have 600 coin. And we need the money for a second craft. And yeah, while well, Valken is doing that, hmm, we could actually hire another one here. No, let's, let's actually not do that for now. Even though I don't know if, if Valken is then a transporter, if he could work even this. Time. Let's actually hire someone. Right? And this one here can now go with wheat to produce that. So we have now Dorian here as well. Dorian is 15, a young lad. No experience whatsoever starting out now. So he's getting us the wheat while Valken is selling the cattle yes, on the market. 19 of that. That's a thousand coin. Very good. Quite a nice income there. So we got 1,400 now. I think that's a bit, that's pretty close to our next business there. 1,760. Yep. So we do need to have 2,000 at least because we need to um, get an employer then as well, obviously. Right, Valkin, let's get back because I want to see if he can work here as well. Right, so, no, he's now only a transporter, you know, so we can only put um, items on him, kind of, um, while they two here are working. Of course, we could then fire them as well if we want to, but let's not do that for now. What Valkin actually can do, he can, um, let's see where it is, boast, or he can motivate the workers there. That was one of our actions that we got. No, not attack someone. Urgent. Extinguish the fire. Grab a drink. No, actually we don't have that. As far as I can see. Perhaps he needs to work here. No idea. Right, but Valkin. What should Valkin do here? Let's get rid of Dorian again because... He cannot work through the night as Valkin can. And for now we do need money. So that was a... That is something I didn't know yet. So in that case here during night, Valkin cannot work here because they occupy the slots here, of course. So Lynette, for example. So in that case, Valkin is now working on the cattles again um, for this night here while winter is coming now. Winter 14.0... Yeah, well, 3, that is. Yep. Oh, and it's going to be a hard winter. Valkin is now 20. We need to be careful there, so if he dies now, the dynasty would be gone, the game would be lost. Because we don't have an heir at the moment. So that is another urgent thing that we actually have to do. But first we need to get some wealth before we can, yeah, propose to someone. Our romance has ended again with right the now. Diana <laughs> that we started with. She wasn't happy with us. So for now we really can only produce the cattle there. Alrighty, and after a bit of time, we do have enough cattle again. Let's load it onto Valken, but this time I want to get the maximum out of those cattle here. So let's have a look um, where they sell the best. We do have now the market in Brixton. This one here sells it for, or would purchase it, the market buys it at 52. That's actually not that much, because when I look at the market here in London directly, they would purchase it for 63, so 10 coin more per um, cattle, around 10 coin more because it fluctuates way too often anyway. And in that case, let's send Valkin here to the Sir. Roman market. While we cannot build anything in here yet and live in here, prices are way too high, we can still sell stuff in here, so that's fine. And there we have the bridge into that mighty town of London. Valkin is on its way with 20 cattle on his back. Strong as ever. We are still level 2, right? Yes, but we are not that far from level 3 away anymore. And hopefully we have done enough money for a second cattle. Oh, the graphics are so beautiful. The music too, by the way, so the music adds a lot to the atmosphere. And there we have it now. 1260 coin. I'm in heaven. We are rich. 
well, kind of. Let's get Vulcan back there to the croft. And you. let's have a second croft. That's exactly what you do. And now it becomes a bit more interesting. Because with a second croft, we can now designate the second croft to, let's say, they only produce water and wheat. And the other one only produces the cattle and they deliver that then over there, for example. So let's have the second croft here, right where we have the first one. At, at least that's my theory. I don't know if that's going to be successful or not. What we also see here, minus 51 coin, is that someone stole something from us here right now. Right, so of course, there are thieves everywhere. And while that second croft is being built now, Valken can continue getting the cattle there for us. Right, because prices haven't gone down. You know, demand in London is pretty high, so the prices haven't gone down when we didn't went da uh, go down when we sold them. And in that case here, Valking can continue now with the cattle. So my goal is here to craft number two. Then with two employees, we can afford that. Is only getting water and wheat, and we're going to have a transport, and the transport auto automatically gets the goods then over here to Croft 2. Or Valken is doing that in the I'm first days, you know. Right but Valken is stepping up in the world. And I hope he knows that. Getting a second croft is no easy task there. Our first step to richness. From now on, the growth will be a bit faster, hopefully. As the building is coming up there in all its glory. The bottom field croft and the riding high croft. There we have the second croft. Let's get two employees. So actually, we have now three employees already under our hand. And both of them are now going only for water for now. You know, so they're on the way now here to the market. And first of all, we need to get up here a storage for the water, of course, before we can do anything with the wheat. And now, as we can see, they're arrived at the well over here and are now starting to gather the water there. So, of course, that is we are only one tiny cog in a huge wheel. Um, for example, there would be um, the case that we are selling the cattle and there would be a butcher who makes meat out of that. Then there is, for example, someone who makes, um, yeah, who breeds dogs, for example, out of that meat. Um, others use the wheat that we have or the barley that we have to, to craft beer and sell it in their inn. So it's all connected, you know, we are also connected with the other dynasties. Not that much at the moment because we are really only producing the basic things that you can have, that you can imagine. But um, if it would be more complicated, like the pig, for example, take that needs the swamp root. And that is something only the herbalism can do. So another dynasty with the herb hut would sell it and we could purchase it and, well, breed ourselves some pigs. But pigs are not really valuable. When we go down here, for example, the sheep. Well, the sheep is actually pretty good here, right? Agriculture number three, though. And with that, we could then have wool. Make wool out of the sheep. And then we have the horses here. So the horses, they do need quite a lot already, actually. Right, there's water now in here. So Julia is keeping... Uh, will continue gathering the water. And Rosalind is the wheat now. So wheat consumes water. So water is much faster, though, in the production. In that case, as you can see, she's gathering much faster the water than she is producing that's fine because we need water not only for the wheat but all, also for the cattle right so here we now have that and in the second croft we can now focus solely on the cattle in that case here let's have Valken. i'm busy for this night he's still going to work here on the cattle someone has spoken well about you oh someone respects me no idea why perhaps because i have a second croft and we can have way more cattle now than before but in that case um, we now have that there. Look at that. There's even someone, a customer, I think. Is he purchasing something? Or is he stealing something from us? I think he's on his way now, right? Do that right now. Oh, he is in here, actually. He's, he, <laughs> he stole something. Oh, that's very nice. He stole a few cattle there from us. And there's Marilyn already. I'm busy. She's also stealing something from us. What is that? How can I get rid of them? I won't take long. I think we'll need some weapons for those guys to get rid of them, right? I am the yes. Right, well, here in this craft here, we're going to have another worker now. So we have two workers here now, who is also going to focus on the cattle. And Valkin, for now, he's going to be our transporter. So he's going to and fro these two crafts there, because we don't need to pay Valkin anything. For transporter, we would need to pay something. 
right? And here I say hey, now 20. And then some wheat, even though we don't have that much wheat yet. But he will yeah. be able to continue this now for a long time here, to and fro. For the first time, we're going to have to do that manually from time to time. And then I can have a trade route with him as well. Okay, Serena, she should be able now to get some cattle there. Right. But that's, yeah, that's my two yeah. crofts now. Um, once we have a bit of money, I will go with a dagger. We need a weapon. Because if someone it tries to steal something forever. again, we're going to kill them right away on the streets. Yeah. Alright, a new day is dawning. Um, now both of them are in full swing, the productions here. So in craft number one, we have another water and the wheat. And in number two, we now have enough water and wheat and they can just concentrate on the cattle. And something else that we can do now that gives us additional experience points every time we do it. Where's Valkin? He should yes. be here somewhere. There he is. And we can now drive our workers. So that is one of our businesses here that we have now. Drive the worker. And you can give your lazy employees a verbal kick in the behind and they may work more quickly for a period of time. But don't let your words be too harsh because you may sometimes anger rather than motivate them. Right, let's do that. And let's take this one here, 75% chance. Cool. Of course, the chance is increased with more, the more charisma we have. Something like that. We also just sold a few cattle here, as far as I've seen. 140 coin we, we well, gained right now. in that case. Good. And let's do the same thing over here. There we got the first one. We get 9 experience points out of that one here. And we want to do the same thing here. There we can see how high the status of that is. And then they're boosted, right? Now, something else. On the side, we have some statistics here that we have all the buildings. Actually, all the buildings in the town. And all our buildings up here. So, our own house, which is <laughs> that one here right now. A small farmhouse. We can't really do much with that. It's just there, you know, for us to sleep and, well, have babies. And then we have our own businesses. We can just e easily click on them here quickly and go to them if we want to. You know, so we don't always have to be where they are right away. There we have that. Very good. So we drove our workers. Your service. If that is the right word. And can we do it again? Yes, we should do it over here too. Unfortunately, what I can see is... Oh yes, they are buffed now. So they are working. But it's not a very long buff. What I can see. Only a minute it lasts. Right, so Valken is doing his thing. He's getting some experience points with that every time he's doing it. And once he's finished here... I will actually want to sell my next batch of cattle. There we get it. Look at that. 3% productivity buffed and of course 24% experience points. So how long does the buff last? Yeah, really only a minute. 17 cattle. Let's keep two cattle in the front store that we can sell all the time. And with that, Valken. Actually first before we do that, because I can see that water is running out. Let's also get some water there. We still have a bit of room there. 20 water. And let's get the 20 water over there to the second croft. Here I am. I won't take long. To my first croft, that is. And sell it. Or, well, unload it here. And since we're making a bit of money now, and that is really annoying here doing that all the I'm time, ready. I think I will now employ a transporter then. And with that, we can automate the exchange between the two crofts there. To speed the whole thing up. And then, yeah, well, then we might even go for a third craft. We would have the opportunity or the ability to also go with another craft entirely. For example, the handicraft here or the herbalism right away. And then we could go for an apothecary at some point at her part, you know. But right now, let's not do that. Right now, let's focus on our craft. So we're not tied to one class, that is. Now we're here on the market. And let's sell 17 cattle. That's another 1,000 coin for us very good and yeah let's have a transporter now let's hire a transporter 200 once again and what Get where to oh she's trying to sell it now at the market right away let's stop It'll be a and let's journey. have our own trade route right and it's not a market that is on this trade route it's going to be riding high and the second one is going to be the bottom field now i need to remember again which was which the bottom field was the one with the water. Here we add water and wheat, right? And in riding high, we sell or we unload those two things. So here we need to choose then minus 20 and minus 20. 
and then we can save it. And now, I think we need to give this one a name. Not really, because we know what it's mean, what, what we mean here, you know. All right, and now the transport is on its way. The transport only has two slots at the moment. We do, we would need a cart for this transport here to be able to carry more. So she's now going to and fro. At the moment, I don't think she has anything here with it on the first ride. Riding high, bottom field, that should be it. And there she's going back again. And this time she should actually be loading something. Yes, she is loading the water and the wheat. And on her way to the other craft, she's unloading that. Beautiful. So this is working. She's now delivering those goods to and fro. And we don't need to do that ourselves anymore as Valkin Delaney. Now as Valkin, let's have a look. I want to have a weapon of some sorts. We do have a bit of money. A longsword is a bit expensive. We can go with weapons here that we have them. Dagger, 146. We can afford that. Let's get a dagger. One. Right, so now we have a dagger at our disposal. Yeah. We should see it too. Oh yeah, we have equipped it now. So in that case, we do have now plus one attack power, plus 15 damage, and plus one defense. Strangely enough, I don't see it. I think the dagger is under the cloth because you can see weapons and stuff like that usually. So that there's our first thing. We can now so hopefully then get rid of the thieves that are trying to do something here Thirsty. right and not now let's please. drive the workers again of right now those two crafts are working automatically we could right? have another transporter here for automatically selling the cattle but that is something that doesn't happen too often you know 40 cattle is for one day so in that case we can still do that manually that was the more annoying thing here so this smaller trade route here that is functioning now this is something that we can keep and, oh, Benedict is, for example, yeah, purchasing some cattle here as well. So we are now also selling something in our craft. Riding high. And I really can't okay, get he's already driving the workers. And I think we do have enough then again. Oh, yeah, we do have some cattle there, but that's fine. Let's just keep it for now. Right. I'm really, really excited that this is now working too. We have buffed them as well. And we can now continue... For example, having a look at our titles. So, handicraft, agriculture. Yeah, we do need the yeoman and the resident before we can go any further. Oh, miller's trade, yeoman. We can actually go with the miller's trade then. Become a miller. We can use that the barley flour, the wheat flour then. But I don't think it would synergize very well with what we're doing right now. With the cattle there is. We could go with a butcher and then we could build a butcher and well, deliver the cattle to the butcher and make some meat out of it. If that is profitable, we might just go with that. Let's have a look at the market. Is it raw materials? The meat? Roast beef? I think it's raw material. Weapon, clothing, essentials, tools, furniture. Where is the meat? There's the pigs. There's the swamp root. No meat anywhere. Luxury items, essentials. Yeah, this is looking good. There we have it, beef. So that's 20, 13 coin per beef. But in that case, I don't know how much we actually produce. Pork is, on the other hand, much more valuable. That is a surprise. Right, so there we could go with the butcher, but I don't think that I like the butcher very much. In that case, let's just continue with the crofts there. <laughs> Selling the cattle. And then probably some horses. Because, oh my, there are valuables. So with them, we do need then water, wheat, and I think barley, whatever that is. You can't see that at the moment. So that would be the miller's craft then that we need as well in addition. Right, the master. let's get the cattle that we have, 17, and let's get Anything that back wrong? to the market. I'm hurrying. Valken is on his way. It's again at the end of the day. Ah. 
Right, I think though, because we have a bit of a surplus here of the wheat especially, we should probably also be selling a bit of wheat there at least, to make a bit money in addition, because we are using way too uh, much time there for the cattle alone, and the rest is wasted basically. That's another thousand. Let's just call it golden, because I don't think there's any other name for it. That won't take long. Right, and then we can still sell a bit of the wheat. And with that, make a bit of money there because we just have way too much of that. Vulcan is coming back in the mid middle of the night. All right, and let's just say 40. That's fine. We still have way more than that. Now let's get that here to the market of Brixton. Even though Brixton... 19 in the central London area. 6 only here. Is that right? No, actually, that's wheat. Wait a second. Summer 1405. Oh, I was so busy, I didn't even notice that we had spring. There is wheat. 18 in Brixton. 18 in Brixton. 14 in London. So it's definitely more valuable here in Brixton. So let's sell that too. That's another 700. Oh, that's quite a lot. 700 coin that we that's earned with sense. that. Right, so we are 2,600 now. With that, we could finally go with the yeoman. And then the miller. Should we do that, though? Or should we go with another craft? Another craft would, us, would it enable us another production chain, then. For example, the pigs. If we have the swamp root, that is. Hmm, difficult decision. But we're doing that in the next episode. Stay tuned.